Hi, my name is Paul Stolwick, and I am a missionary and a pastor. Uh, I've also been an engineer and an entrepreneur and uh, a lot of other things throughout my life. And today I'm going to talk about, uh, I'm going to do the first in a series of talks uh, that I'm broadly just calling the spirituality of the second half of life. Spirituality of the second half of life. And uh, what I want to do is uh, talk about what is it. Um, so I'm going to do that a little bit today. Uh, and, and walk through my little diagram here as an initial framework for understanding. Talk about when does it begin? What are the characteristics of this second half or this transition from the first half to the second half of life? Um, and then what's a framework for moving forward uh, spiritually uh, as a follower of Jesus? And the motivation for this was uh, one of the, uh, one of the, people that have influenced my thinking on this is a Franciscan priest named Richard Rohr. And in, a, in his book, he mentions that uh, most churches are designed for first half of life spirituality. And then he moved on to this other thing. And, I, and as soon as he said that, I thought, yes, that's exact, exactly right. And I've been a part of that, uh, leading churches uh, as a first half of life person, leading it from a first half of life approach. And now being in the second half of my life, trying to figure out why is it that I'm having a difficulty with local churches and uh, where am I spiritually with the Lord? And how do I continue walking with the Lord in this stage in life, given the experience I have? And, and so this is my first attempt at doing this. And so let's talk about what it is. So I'm going to talk about uh, halves. And thirds. So sorry about this. I'm going to get you all mixed up, but I'm going to first start with thirds uh, as a way of looking at uh, the stages of our life. And the person that uh, first got me thinking about it in terms of thirds was Wes Roberts, who is a mentor of mine who lives in Denver, Colorado. And he has a decades workshop that he's given me uh, permission to use as a tool for people. But his basic idea is that there's uh, a first third of your life, a second third, and a third third. And then I've added a fourth one that I'll call the last dance. And, and the first third is kind of the first three decades. This is what I would call the age of discovery, where we're born, we grow up into uh, emerging adulthood. And neuroscience tells us that that. Uh, boys and men don't have their frontal lobes uh, fully formed until they're age 27. Jesus doesn't start his ministry until age 30. In fact, traditionally, you couldn't become a rabbi until age 30 because uh, you just, people knew that you didn't know anything until you were 30 years old. Uh, and, and I think that I'm going to call that the age of discovery then, uh, then from 30 to 60, I'm going to call it the age of vocare. And this word vocare is Latin, and I get it from my friend Drew Dotson, who started a, a, a business called vocare. Vocare means calling. Uh, so it's where we get our, our word vocation or our word vocal. Uh, so vocare is, is this age, uh, this season where uh, we are working and, and, and uh, living out uh, the stewardship of things that God's put into our life. And then the third uh, phase is uh, I'll call the phase of true eldering, uh, the age of uh, becoming a true elder. And I'll explain that as we go. And, the, and with that as a, an initial framework, this is where the first half and the second half come up. And this is from Richard Rohr. Uh, in his book, uh, Upside Down Something. And, and his premise is that throughout history and across cultures, there's an awareness that there is a point in life where uh, we have a first half of life that something begins to happen and we move into the second half of our life. And this age of true eldering, I get that phraseology from Roar as well, the idea of becoming a true elder. And I'll explain that, as I said. And so the basic framework is that we go through life and then there's a, a first half, there's some transition uh, here during the age of Vocare. 
and we actually move into the second half of our life or the second act of our life. Uh, and there's some characteristics of that second act of our life. And because of those characteristics that are different than the first half, uh, the spirituality changes a bit as well. And, and I don't have this nailed down. I'm trying to discover it. And so this is part of me inflicting uh, what I know so far uh, on you in this regard. Um, and so there's our, there's our first framework. And that's where we'll stop for first idea.